Perhaps it's my age, I'm coming up on my 63rd birthday, but it seems to me that every time I turn around, I discover that somewhere in my wide circle of friends, another bloke's been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And that's where this book can come in, should come in. Uh, it's a comprehensive guide onto all, for a lay person, uh, onto all those issues which inform us about the disease. Uh, it starts naturally enough with a description of the prostate and then a description of the disease. It talks about the risks and the causes and those factors in lifestyle which will increase or decrease the risk. It includes commentary on what you might call frequently asked questions on diet and drugs and the use of tobacco and alcohol influences on lifestyle which predisposes you to a better or worse uh, risk profile. It talks about symptoms and the diagnosis and the treatment. Uh, it goes into uh, some detail on the vectors of treatment to do with surgery and radiation therapy. Uh, uh, the, the, front, the front end of the guide, while still eminently readable by a lay person, passes the technical test. After all, the book is not something you're going to pick up at the back of the church or uh, see lying on some colleague's desk necessarily. It is a book which often will be referred to people like you and I by a doctor who thinks we ought to know more than we apparently do. So the book as it is presented is one which has to stand the test of credibility with that wide range of health professionals who will pass it on to a layperson. What I like about the book is that it will be a wonderful way of quickly and plainly informing people diagnosed with early stages or otherwise of prostate cancer. But equally it can be passed on to people who pre-diagnosis may then be a little more sensitised a little less apprehensive about mysterious things in their own body which might have sinister implications but which if caught early can lead to a much much better outcome. In terms of its preventative or predisposition of people, preventative uh, 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 um, uh, capability and predisposition of potential patients to knowing more, I think it's again a wonderful contribution. Uh, in, in my lay view, to see this on the shelves of GPs who deal with uh, the men of their practice uh, would be a, wonderful, uh, a wonderfully uh, appropriate thing. You know, prostate cancer is unique to males but becomes an imposition and a problem and, a, and an issue to be managed by an entire family. Um, I'm not saying about all Australian men, but I'm a sook and a lot of people I know are sooks and uh, if we become ill in any way, uh, it is our partner, our kids where there are kids who bear a lot of the burden, particularly particularly with prostate cancer, a male is in a particularly vulnerable state. There are family ramifications. As you heard Prem humorously allude to, uh, there are issues to do with sexual relations which are dealt with, I think, in a tremendously uh, comforting uh, and informative way in this book. I've spoken with colleagues in the front here uh, about the fact that often it will be the partner who will say, why don't you get a check? And that will make the difference. So the book in that respect carefully and clearly says this will be a family affair and the woman 
uh, the partner will have a role. Um, I love the case studies because they are people, real people, whose cases have been documented and the uh, authenticity of their reactions shines through in the dialogue that's presented. And I think, again, because the case studies were selected from a wide cross-section of people, uh, that, that there is uh, almost an inspirational part of, the, of it there. Um, I'm delighted that this third edition is now with us. Uh, I agree with you that the uh, illustrations, the layout, uh, the utility of the book makes it extremely attractive. And therefore, I know why you're proud of it, because all of us are the beneficiaries. I, I want to close now by thanking and congratulating Associate Professor Prem Rashid and his many collaborators for providing us this refreshed edition, this third edition of an invaluable book. I want to congratulate the publishers, Euro North, the Euro North Group. Prem, you and your collaborators have made another most important contribution to the health of your fellow Australians. And today it's our chance to salute that to you and all of those dedicated and tireless folk throughout Australia at the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia and the other sponsors who have brought this book to pass, listed here, Andrology Australia and USANS. I, I, I'm probably not allowed to say that, but USANS. Uh, I'd like to, uh, again, uh, add the congratulations and thanks of, I think, the entire community. I was down in Melbourne the other day. I'm chairman of a not-for-profit called the General Sir John Monash Foundation, and we'd moved premises when it was my first visit. So I was wandering around this beautiful office building in downtown Melbourne in the CBD, and I was really uh, getting frustrated. I couldn't find our new offices. So I just happened to blunder into the Prostate Cancer Foundation of Australia offices in Melbourne. I said, where's the Monash Foundation? They said, come with me, sir. So even in this small way of uh, directing people, I, I, I saluted that effort by saying, I'm launching a book in Sydney on Friday. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here we are. We're the lucky ones who are here at the birth of the third edition. And I've got much pleasure in launching Prostate Cancer, Your Guide to the Disease, Treatment Options and Outcomes, edited and assembled by uh, Associate Professor Prem Rashid.